Hi, today I'm going to introduce you to a cool and simple technique called NLP anchoring. What anchoring does is it creates a stimulus and a response so that we can change our state and feel better about ourselves or choose a specific state. Do you remember when you were a child and you heard the ice cream van going around and that tune that you heard, that jingle, it instantly linked you to the feeling of ice cream or wanting an ice cream. Well, that's an anchor right there and that's what advertisers use all the time. Now in NLP anchoring, what we do is we think about a time when we felt a particular way, that's recalling, and then we anchor that feeling onto a certain part of our body, then we change the state, and then we evoke that feeling so we can get into it. So how does that all work? Let's think that we want to feel powerfully confident, okay? I'm sure we could all do with a little bit of confidence every now and again. So if you want to feel powerfully confident, what you do is think of a time when you previously felt powerfully confident. Okay, so that's the first step. That's recalling. Then we anchor by touching a part of our body. A knuckle is usually good, although other people maybe use their ear. You sometimes see sports people doing this and it might be that they're bringing back their own positive anchor. And then we change our state, as I mentioned, and then we bring it back and we can use it. So let me go through that with you and break it down. So let's say that I want to feel powerfully confident. I'm going to think of a time when I was really confident. And you think about one too. So a number of years ago now, I was in a show and I was the lead and it was very exciting and people said I was really good in it. So that made me feel confident. So if I was to get that feeling right now, think about the time. And then think about how I felt, what I looked like, what people were saying, the applause of the audience. And what we do is then we kind of turn up the dials and make it bigger, brighter, more powerful, more real to us. And as it becomes really real, we then touch a part of our body that we've previously chosen, the anchor point, okay? And we hold that for between 5 and 15 seconds until it's really peaked. We don't let go until it's really peaked. And you're continuing to make it bigger and more powerful and stronger. And then once that's happened, we let it go and we change our state. That could be doing anything, but just doing something that's going to break it. So if I was to start to brush my hair right now, that would be a change of state, right? I'd change the way I was thinking and the way I was feeling. So then we come back and we evoke it. So touch the anchor point and what you'll find is you'll be powerfully confident and you'll get that feeling. It doesn't mean you'll have the memory, you'll just have the feeling because you've created a stimulus, a response and a stimulus linked together. So why not try that and let me know how it goes. You can use it for anything, but powerful states are more useful. Feeling powerfully confident, you can use it for motivation. So remember, recall a state where you felt powerfully whatever the emotion is you want. Anchor it to a certain point on your body. Change your state just so that you've got a blank screen. And then evoke that state. And there you are, a very simple anchor and a very powerful technique.